Hello, my name is Scoob Snail, and today you join me on the desktop today because I'm not doing a map breaking video again. Um, if you didn't know, some of my other interests are like uh, data mining, for example. So I'm going to be showing you how to data mine audio. So the reason why I'm doing this particularly today is because um, unfortunately for whatever reason, one of Bungie's partner legal companies, um, I think it's called CSC, I don't know what that stands for, but basically it's the big lawyer people, and for whatever reason they have decided to now take down all of the fan-made Destiny music. Um, so that includes like stuff made by Breshi and Promethean, uh, most importantly I think. Uh, because the two of them have literally spent years doing this stuff and, um, you know, basically they released all the, like, un or they, they painstakingly edited and mixed together, um, all of the tracks in the game that didn't make it to, like, soundtrack and such, and, you know, it was a really cool thing for them to do, because they did it for free, and never monetized it or anything, but, uh, the lawyers apparently don't like that now and have uh, copyright struck them to the ground. Um, so we don't have that asset anymore. So instead, we have to get those. We have to get that music for ourselves. And today, I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, so first off, prerequisites. Um, you're going to want to have a program here called Fubar 2000, and more specifically, you're also going to want to get the uh, plugin VGM stream. Both of these are free. I'm not going to show you how to install them in this video because that would require me uninstalling this and uh, this takes over here, which is our end result. That takes like about 45 minutes to load, so I don't want to do that again. Um, anyway, so you're going to want to have that. And then this part is optional, but you're going to also want to have your own um, separate drive for this audio or like a thumbstick or something, but um, right now my terabyte hard drive has about 100, yeah, 110 gigs left. And um, you're going to be using a lot. It's going to be, I don't remember exactly how much unpacked audio was, but I know previous versions of the game, it got up to like 80 gigs by the end. So uh, prepare for a lot and be surprised if it's not that much at the end. Um, things have gotten a lot more efficient, and we don't use WAV files anymore, so it'll be a little bit less than that, but still have a lot of file space. Alright, so here we go. Um, what you're going to want to do is head over to the website. I'm going to link it in the description. Um, this is Destiny 2 Unpacker. Um, I guess I should say right now, this is not going to get you banned. Um, y yeah. And it's not going to get you into legal trouble either, even though that, you know, music stuff is kind of having copyright issues right now. Specifically because you own a copy of the game, I hope. Um, and so, you know, you own Destiny 2, and therefore you can use the files as long as you don't distribute them. So that's the thing, is that don't distribute the files, you will get copyright claimed. That's, yeah. All right, um, yeah, so you're going to want to go ahead and go to releases and then download Desi Unpacker cpp.rar, whatever the current version is. Right now it's 2.0. So, yeah, so I've got that downloaded. We've got it here. And let's just get that extracted. Thank you very much. And here we go. So. Um, generally I like having two file tabs open here because you're going to be referencing back to your packages folder. So, first off, find where Destiny 2 is installed, usually in Steam. I don't have Steam. Okay, there we go. So, you can, um, browse local files and you'll go right there. But I've got it bookmarked because I go here way too often. And now you're going to want to find your packages folder, and here we go. So, this is a very large folder. And it contains all of the actual files that Destiny uses to, you know, be a game. And um, more specifically right now, we are looking at all the ones labeled audio. 
And as you can see, after every package like name, it has a four character sort of code and then has some stuff after that. So that four character code is what we're going to be putting in. It's the hash. And we're going to put that into the um, unpacker program eventually. And that's how we're going to tell it which package to unpack. Um, so now what we're going to do is um, this is a command line tool. So um, yeah, so just type in CMD into the file thing up there. And here we go. So what I'd like to do first is I like to just drag the exe into the command line because nblock has uh, added a nice little thing that shows you the usage. So you can go ahead and copy that if we want. I'm going to go ahead and just copy this first part here just to save a little bit of time. And now, now that we have dash p we're going to take our packages folder and drag that over and so now we have desi unpacker and then your program files so next you're going to want to do dash o which is going to specify your output folder you don't have to do this if you don't want to but i'm just going to go ahead and make one that way all of the files that i make today will go into the same folder so uh, then you're going to want to do um, dash T uh, that will make TXTP files. I'll explain what those are in a minute, but trust me, just do it. And finally dash I, and that's going to be um, what is our input. And for today, um, I guess I'll pull some new music. So um, generally speaking, the higher the like hex number is over here, I think that's hex at least um the sort of the newer it is that's generally the rule it's not always true but in this case it is um so i'm gonna go with 0144 and that should give us a bunch of the new music so um once again you've got dash unpacker.exe then dash p with your oh god you got dash p with your program files and then dash o with your output name you just, you don't even need to add like a file thing or anything. Just type the name of the folder that you want it to create. Dash T and that'll make TXTPs and then dash I, which is our input. Um, we can also do dash W, which makes WEMS. Dash H, which does hex things, which I don't need. And then dash V, we don't care about because right now we are using the default, which is post beyond light. So plug that in. And there we go. Now it is creating TXTPs. And I'm going to take this opportunity. As you can see, it's already made that output folder that we specified. I'm going to tell you sort of what all this is. So um, these are the WEMS, and these are what the actual music is. So this is a um, this is how the game runs music. Is these WEM files? I apologize if you hear the door. Ah, it's such a squeaky door. Okay. Um, and right now it's actually generating them. But if I just take this, I don't know what this is. It's three seconds long. It's probably going to be a sound effect. Okay, very cool. So <laughs> that's uh, the WEM is sort of the base audio file that everything runs off of. And that is from a program called WYS. And that's up there. And we aren't going to actually use that today because I am not good enough to use it. So. That's what the WEM is. It's just sort of the base audio file. So then we go into here and then these are the TXTPs. Now TXTPs, the best way to describe them are like instructions on, it sort of instructs FUBAR to play the WEMs in a certain order. And that way it'll sort of create a nice long string of audio. It'll make a complete song. So yeah. Um, one thing to note is sort of like the nomenclature of how these are named. So the first the first hash here is the package number. So once again, these are from 0144, so that's the first number. The second one is, I guess, the event hash is the best way to describe it. I don't know. It's sort of like where the activity is. 
and we'll explain it later. Like, for example, if you look over here, 1069 is um, the tower ambient music. We'll get to this later, don't worry. Um, and then after that, it's a whole bunch of numbers that I don't understand, and I'm sure other people do. So, yeah. Um, this is going to take a while, so I've got to stall. But, all right. So in FUBAR, once these are done, you're going to drag these over. I'll show you that. It's going to take a while to load, and then you've got it here. So, um, yeah, generally speaking, once you've got it in FUBAR, it's going to look something like this, where it's just completely out of order, just random things. Nothing's looking good. Okay, it's done. Okay. I guess I'll explain that later with the actual file. So once it's... Once this is done doing its thing, it's going to stop and then give you the prompt again. And that means it's just done. So, um, what you're going to do is that you're going to take this one folder, drag it into... Uh, it's open another program. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, thank you. All right, so you're going to drag WEM into bank and then WEM into TXTP. Um, the WEMs have to be in a folder that sort of like this where the txtps are here and then the web folder is inside the txtp file that is very important because the txtps are instructing foobar to look for the webs in that space so don't rename that don't do anything to it make sure it's in the txtp file so now i'm going to do control a control click when to deselect it and then drag this over into the playlist bar of foobar and this will take a minute to load again. Should be. There we go. And now you're going to notice we've actually got a lot of question marks. And that means that we are missing WEMS. And that makes sense since this is only from one package. Um, if you want a complete sort of full picture of the game, you're going to have to actually download all the packages. And I... I... I have a I have a batch file that can do that. Um, I might paste that into a paste bin and put that down below. And if you don't see that there, uh, you just all you have to do if you're a real audio fanatic is just run the command for every single pet audio package, and it'll take a while. It's gonna suck, but it'll be worth it in the end if you like audio. So now we have this right here, which is our TXTPs. And so now if I play one of these, please be music. Hey, it's Prophecy. Cool. So, as you can see now, we have music. And uh, that's kind of it for the tutorial. Um, one last thing to note is that uh, the TXTPs, for the most part, don't do crossfade or anything. So it's not going to be a full replacement for... All the work that, you know, Breshi and Promethean and all the other people that uh, did audio stuff with Destiny, it's not going to replace it, but it's a decent substitute at least. Um, another thing is that a lot of times, like if we go back to this playlist here, uh, 54 minutes, this is going to be Gaul, I think. No, it's Gaul. Yeah, okay. So... Obviously, the Gaul track does not play, or Nightmare Gaul at least, that doesn't play for a whole 20 minutes, or 54 minutes, obviously. So, what the tool does is that this is what the game plays while you're, while you're listening to it. So, when you're in an activity or whatever, and you're doing a boss fight, the music loops over and over and over again um, to make sure that it doesn't, like, ever stop the music while you're listening to it. And the end result in this case is that we're going to have sort of a very long looping music thing. So a lot of times, um, I mean, I personally like it because I, I can turn my brain off while doing activities and just listen to a thing and I don't have to worry about it. But I don't know. Depends on the person, but... The end result of that is that, you know, it is going to be a very long looping track. So let's uh, talk about how do you know where everything is in here. So um, like I said before, you're looking for that second number after the package number, and that's going to tell you the activity. So what I'm going to do now is control F. And just as an example, I'm going to use 1069 because 
1069 is tower like the tower activity so now we have all of the all of the music that plays in the tower so this is all right so this is the current one that plays in the tower we have this is this is the dawning <laughs> uh this i think is yep festival of the lost uh, new Guardian games. I'm not going to play that because that's actually spoilers. Uh, old Tower. Uh, you get the idea. So you get all this stuff and now you can do that. But we can do this for any activity once you know the hash. So generally speaking, once you have like all of the TXTPs in existence and all the WENs and everything into one folder, um... You can you can use this second one to find more music like it. So, for example, I know that the raid music. If I check my notes over here, actually, hang on. Uh, I've got it. Okay, so I know for a fact that um, the new raid, Vow of the Disciple, is under 12D for the TXTP and 1CFD. So if I keep type in. 1CFD, it will pop up all of the new raid music. So now if I go down to this 10 minute one, it should be the new Rolk music. Damn, I was wrong. I think it's this one. Okay, whatever, it's both characters. You get the picture, so all of these are gonna be raid music. Uh, come on, third ties. God damn it, I've picked out all of the caretaker music. Okay, you get the picture. That's how that works. So. Um, yeah, so now I think that's, that's kind of it for the video. Um, personally, I recommend when you first start out with this, uh, before you sort of know all of the package names and orders like this, um, I suggest you just sort by duration and just scroll to the top. Because usually, I mean, all the music's going to be super long and all of the sound effects are going to be super short. And uh, yeah, so... This has kind of been a ramble fest. Um, go ahead and DM me on Discord if you need help with this stuff. I am more than happy to help. And yeah, um, last things that I didn't show is that this tool, as you could see from all the way back up here, it works with um, Pre Beyond Light and D1 packages. Um, I don't know that I'm allowed to explain how to get those because those are a little bit more sketchy. Um, might be able to, I don't know. Once again, DM me, I'll help you with that. But I think that's it for this. So um, thank you very much for watching. I know that this isn't my normal content and I will probably get back to making glitch videos. Like I've got one for a box break in Miasma that I'm currently working on. And uh, yeah, so thank you for watching and pretend there's a cool outro.